What is a thorough examination and test? And why do I need one? It's a good question and one we're coming across more frequently at the moment with HSE enforcing dust control standards on site. So let's start with what thorough examination and testing actually is. Think of it like an MOT on your car. It's there to ensure that you and other road users are kept safe. An LEV test is exactly the same. We have to do it at least once every 14 months to ensure that the controls are still protecting us from hazards at work. Now let's look at the regulatory requirements. COSH Regulation 9 states that where engineering controls are provided to meet the requirements of Regulation 7, the employer should ensure that thorough examination and testing of those controls is carried out in the case of local exhaust ventilation plant at least once every 14 months. This is to ensure that equipment is working as effectively as originally intended. And you may be asked to provide evidence of a thorough examination test should an HSE inspector visit your site. So you might be thinking, doesn't this just apply to permanent systems like in joinery shops? Well, no. The COSH regulations apply to any working environment where persons are exposed to a health risk. Don't forget that ambient dust will come under COSH if it reaches certain levels, even if it hasn't got any specific hazards. Not all hire companies offer tech certificates. This can be quite worrying for people that are running a site. You don't know whether the machines you're getting have got clean filters, whether the filters are working properly, or even whether you've got someone else's hazardous materials being brought onto your site. Fortunately, RVT are not your average hire company. We really care about the people and the environment and protecting long-term health. So we have stringent maintenance and repair processes in place that ensure that any equipment that comes to your site is thoroughly inspected and ready for use. When it comes to LEV equipment, we have a four-step process. Cleaning and maintenance, electrical safety testing, performance testing, and then our final checks and certification. All of this is recorded on our system so that customers have the confidence that text information is there when they require it. So who's responsible for ensuring that a thorough examination and test have been carried out? In short, you and your employer. If you're using the equipment on site, it's your responsibility to ensure that the equipment is in good order before it's used. So if you're concerned about the condition of the equipment, speak to your manager or contact us. All good hire companies, including RVT Group, will not only provide a thorough examination and test certificate, but equipment instructions and maintenance guidance so that you can continue to use that equipment safely. Here are some typical everyday checks that you should be carrying out on site. Ensure there is no damage or blockages. Ensure airflow filters and cleaning mechanisms are working correctly. Ensure filters are replaced when necessary. Ensure the equipment is regularly cleaned to stop dust buildup. Check the hood is correctly positioned and any connections are secure. If you need new parts, ensure they're compatible. And finally, always ensure that you follow the manufacturer's recommendations and instructions. You should record these checks in a maintenance log as HSE will require evidence that they've been carried out. Just as a reminder, all LEV systems require testing at least once every 14 months and you should keep these records for five years. If you have an LEV system to control dust or fume, vapours, other hazards, then you must comply with these requirements and this includes on-tool extraction systems. If you need further support on local exhaust ventilation or any type of hazard control, please contact one of our consultants here at RVT Group. RVT Group, protecting people and our environment. Mm -hmm.